You can now easily loop multiple states of an object to create interactive slideshows without creating multiple slides or objects. You can create an unlimited number of states to any object in Adobe Captivate 9. Each state can contain images, text, video, animations, or any combination of these objects. Further, you can add buttons that learners can use to easily navigate the interactive slideshow. Let's see the steps to create an interactive slideshow in Adobe Captivate 9. In this project, I've already added a video, a back button, and a next button to navigate through this video slideshow. Let's add states for the video. Let's double click the video to open the Properties Inspector. In the Properties Inspector, go ahead and click State View. In the State View, click New State. Name the new state as Video 2 and click OK. Now, go to the Properties Inspector and click the folder icon next to the file link. Select v2.mp4 to change the video in the state and click OK. Similarly, I'll go ahead and add three more states for videos 3, 4, and 5. Now, let's exit the state view. I'll go ahead and click Exit State. Now, select the Back button. Go to the Actions tab in Properties Inspector and change the On Success action to the newly added Go to Previous State. Here, make sure video is selected and uncheck Continue Playing the Project. Let's do the same for the next button. I'll select the next button, go to the Actions tab, and then select Go to Next State. Here as well, I'll go ahead and uncheck Continue Playing the Project. Now let's preview it. Your interactive video slideshow is ready.